everyone, how you doing? It's up, man, Joe, and today I'm bringing you another review of a Cinch Gaming Controller. Now, I know I've done one of these in the past, uh, but I've been using it for about four months, and I can tell you I have been so impressed with the quality of the controller and the way it works and the, and the position of the buttons that I actually went ahead and ordered another one. And in addition, my son has just recently switched from using a Scuf controller to a Cinch Gaming controller. Since my last review, uh, Cinch has actually added on some features and done some improvements, so I kind of wanted to just go over some of their new improvements and once again kind of compare it to you and show you the the difference between using a cinch gaming controller and a scuff gaming controller so let's get into it okay so when you get your controller it comes in this very nice box they ship it very well and they ship everything by ups priority mail so it only takes two to three days to get it so let's open up the controller and i'll show you what i got and when you first open it up they do put your receipt in it and uh here's a little card on congratulations on having a cinch gaming controller and on the back is uh, instructions on how to remap it if you got the remapping feature as well as how to adjust their new trigger stops. And then they give you a set of tools uh, to adjust the trigger stops and to remove your cinch grip. And this is the controller that I ordered. Uh, this is the AR controller, automatic reload controller, and I just love it. I actually got a preview of this controller uh, when I was at UMG Orlando, met some of the guys from Automatic Reload, uh, met the owner of Cinch Gaming, and you can see I actually already have my control freaks on here. I do get just the standard uh, Xbox grips because I like to have control freaks and I can kind of change things around. Uh, now, this is the controller I ordered. Uh, the way it comes uh, when you get the automatic reload controller is you, you get the shell. It comes with two buttons on the back, blackout buttons here, and uh, a special automatic reload LED guide button, and they put an L a red LED in there, and it looks phenomenal. Now on the back here, I do have four buttons. I get the four buttons instead of two, so I have two on the bottom for my A and B, and two on the top, and I also do add in the remapping feature, which I think is an incredible feature. It allows you to change things on the fly. So there may be some games where I want it to be my left D-pad and other games where I want it to be my knife and it allows you to do it. Now, one of the new features uh, that Cinch has, and I'll try to get a close-up on it, they do now have a grip. And I have to tell you, I like this grip a lot better than the scuff grip. And just to give you a comparison, here's a scuff controller and uh, you can just see the difference. The scuff controller is uh, like a plastic, uh, rubbery kind of feeling. Uh, it's molded to your fingers. It does kind of get slippery. This just seems to feel a lot better in my hands. Uh, so this is one of their new features. Now, in order to adjust your trigger stops, you take off your panels, and they do give you a removal tool, but you really don't need it. And you can see up in there, right here, this screw right here is my trigger stop and they really did a great job now when you do get the trigger stops if you want the adjustable trigger stops they have to take out the trigger rumbles but i have not found that to be an issue uh, but it's really nice because all you do is take your little allen key and you push it in and push it out and they also i don't know if you can see it on the video there is like a little rubber stop here so when it hits it's uh it doesn't click you don't hear that uh, metal on plastic clicking sound so uh, it really works well and it's very quick and simple to adjust now i did want to just give you a comparison between the cinch and the scuff this is my son's scuff controller you can see here you know all in all they're pretty much the same controller it, the difference is is when you get to the back you can see the scuff has these paddles here and the cinch has these buttons it's just much easier that when you hold your controller to press these buttons, you know, you have your fingers on your triggers and you can just move your finger from one button to the other. When you're using a scuff, you kind of have to like angle your finger in a little bit. And if you want to use those inner paddles, it's uh, for me a little bit of a stretch to move it over. Um, I also like the fact that you can use any battery cover if you just have one of those like energizer chargers or something like that. You can use that because you can use any battery cover, whereas the scuff, you do have to have this. And I can tell you that we've already had these paddles break 
and after four months, I've had no issues with the cinch buttons. So all in all, I really love my cinch controller, and I really like the look of this automatic reload controller. They did a phenomenal job, and cinch is really stepping up their game with their design of their controllers. If I have any negatives about this controller, um, it's that if you look at the design of this controller, uh, the design was actually put on a white shell, and if you can see in the video there, you can see that right there where I can see a little white line between the front shell and the back shell. Not a big deal, it's it's you know a little cosmetic issue. Um, one other thing I would like to say, on my last video I did mention when I first got my original cinch controller, I had an issue with the LED guide button. Um, it sat down lower in the controller, it made it kind of difficult to double tap. Cinch has since fixed that problem and now the button is raised just like all of the other controllers on the market whether you buy a scuff or just a factory controller uh, so now it's not an issue at all to double tap uh, so they did make that improvement now i will say this that since my last video cinch has become a little bit bigger of a company um, they've gotten a little bit more well known a lot of the teams that they're sponsoring are placing high in the various tournaments uh, and because of that uh, their shipping and build time does seem to take a little bit longer than it used to um, we've ordered two controllers controllers in the last month and a half. Both of them were send-ins where uh, we took existing controllers that we had and we mailed them into Cinch, uh, had them build them and mail them back. It saves you about $60 if you do it that way. Uh, and both controllers took about three weeks from the day we mailed it out till the day we got it back in our hand. Um, like I said, as far as customer service, they are very good at customer service. Uh, they do respond to your emails or if you tweet them, uh, depending on the time of your day that you do email them, it could take a day to get back to you, but I haven't had any issues where it took me longer than a day to get back to them. Usually it's within a couple of hours, but just wanted to let you know that they have become a larger company. So uh, sometimes things are a little bit slower than they used to be, but it's still nowhere near the issues that we've had with Scuff Gaming. So that is my video for today, guys. Hopefully it helps you out a little bit and make a decision if you want to get a Cinch controller. If you do, you can use my coupon code, which is UMPMANJOE. It'll save you 5% on your order. I'll put a link down to it in the description and you can see it right here on the screen. Um, like I said, I just love this controller. It works really well, it feels good in my hand. It's actually lighter than a scuff controller weighing only seven ounces without your trigger, without your rumbles, uh, as opposed to 8.4 ounces for the scuff controller. So I just love everything about the controller itself and the customer service on Cinch Gaming is 10 times better than scuff. So that's my video for today, guys. Hopefully it helps you out, like I said. Please do me a favor and hit the like button down on the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter, Hitbox, and Twitch TV at the username of Umpman Joe. And until next time, happy gaming. <laughs>